Welcome back to another episode of Zippin' Gaming. We are deep in the MSQ, and by deep, I mean real deep. Like, uncomfortably submerged. Um, we have entered a tower of awfulness, and we have emerged victorious. We saved everybody inside, defeated the three sisters of Zot religion. They were definitely primals. And all the while, Fandango, Fandaniel, was trying to thwart us and not have us be successful. So screw him. He's just bi a bitter ass in. Back to the main story quest. The Jewel of Favnair. We we have to teleport back there and go to where the tower was. Unfortunately, there's not an Aether right there. Mm, but I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed your stuff thus far. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell to get more episodes on this entirely new MSQ storyline for Final Fantasy XIV. Okay, so there's Pride Rock. And notice the absence of the tower that was right over here. That's because we destroyed it. And good old Grahatia, he casted a levitation spell at the last second to save all of us from falling to our deaths. It was amazeball. Thank you, Grahatia. You, in fact, are the real winner. So we need to check in with Big Daddy Dragon Boy. Let him know that, well, actually he was here uh, whenever we destroyed it. And he's helping everybody get back to ship shape that was stuck in the tower, mounted on the walls. Rested and ready to set out. Thangrid, thank God you're rested, sir. You were never w <laughs> one for being idle. It's true, I'm a busy, busy man. I got people who need lots of things. Farshan beta us to come to Megduta, Megaduta, at our earliest convenience. The others will join us there once they have finished tending to the prisoners. What prisoners? Were there prisoners? Were there prisoners? Have I forgotten everything? Wait a minute. Why do you get to go back to the Great Works? What's Thangrid up to? Oh, they left Grahatia to get well under the alchemist's care so he's gonna go get him before they uh siphon all his blood out all right estinian me and you bro don't kill anything on the way please radiant guardsman let me in sir master zip and i presume i understand you're here for an audience with the satrap if you require directions to magaduda i should be glad to provide them that's a fun word to say i'm probably pronouncing it wrong I apologize to all the Square Enix people. The Satrap's residence is situated in Dharma, the highest part of Raz Atan. Get there, I would ordinarily recommend a route that takes you by the bazaars in the city's north due to the state of alert. However, most businesses are currently closed and the Aetherite disabled. Great. In other words, we head up. Sounds straightforward enough. Yeah, man. Like, that was a really long winded way to say go that way. Going through the door. What's up, man? What's up, unnamed character? Follow this hallway to the right and go through the door at the top of the stairs. You're emerged at the entrance of the airship and landing where another sentry should be on hand to assist you. If you're here for the airship, I'm afraid all flights have been suspended. Wonderful. Ascend the stairs. Everything is up here. <laughs> so the directions are, if you need to go anywhere in the city, just go up the stairs. We've been expecting you. Oh, this is all just to talk to the satrap and the dragon again. Yo, what's up? I'm here. Nice elephants. Excellent. What's up, brother? How's that eye? Look at your one eye. Cool. Nice. Gratia is not dead. I hope we've not kept you waiting. You definitely have, Thangrid. I've been waiting for years. Your comrade is feeling better, I trust. I mean, he saved everybody. So. Much better, thank you. Harness remedies are certainly potent in more ways than one. Oh, oh, oh. La di da. One becomes accustomed to the taste, although I hope you never have cause to. Oh, he's so. talking about the taste. Pray, take Stop your ease. It. All right. I hate when they pan out like that. Full glad I am to see you all unharmed. What's up? Give him like a side eye, like sons. For your heroism, you have my boundless gratitude. 
Thanks, Dragon. V Vertra. Vertra. Vertra, the dragon. Vertra, the dragon. Gotta remember that. And set free its hapless captives. Yeah, we did. You cleanse their souls of its corrupting influence. Heck yeah. No words of thanks will suffice. In place of platitudes, I offer a bounty of warding scales. Yeah! The, well, you, oh, you mean the stuff you were supposed to be preparing for us? Reward, along with the goodwill of yeah, thanks for holding up your end of the bargain. Bertra. Alchemists throughout the land were put to work in the forging of your talismans. Okay, the so it was a big deal. Have been collected. That's a different story. The high crucible of Alchemia. Finished ones have been collected and now with you. Okay. Present this letter when you are ready to take them into your possession. I'm going to take them and spread them like all over the world. Don't give it to him. Give it to me. But I'm, I'm right here. We are humbled by your generosity. Know that the inventive wisdom of Radzat Han will be vital in restoring serenity to our star. Well, how come he's Every the leader? Every single one of those scales came from you, didn't they? Fine, you whatever. Still be in I'm so bitter. <laughs> oh, they plucked the... Oh, yeah, man, that's gotta hurt. Better put some ointment on that. Moment, a mere annoyance compared to the dreadful suffering inflicted upon this land and its people. Eh, I mean, gotta take your lumps, protect your people. I understand. Albeit brief, my involvement in the Dragon Song War afforded me a glimpse of the myriad sorrows which consumed both dragon and man. Nice. Were half a world away. Such tragedies as befell your kin must have affected you deeply. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, he's one of the original you, brood. You chose to live among men. Yeah. Because he's a nice guy. He's a nice dragon. In the age when that conflict first bloomed, my choice had already been made. Ah, uh, what do you mean? In some distant place, man slew dragon. And dragon slaughtered man. Yet no hate could I muster for those smiling faces which did look to me for guidance. Okay. So he's a, he's a dragon with a big heart. Not even my brother's righteous rage could rally me to his cause. As Nidhogg, I'm pretty sure. Here, secret and still, hoping against hope. That which I had built would remain untouched by the chaos and carnage. I mean, we, we I didn't know about this place until right now, so... Good job. You did it. Congrats. It would seem we share the same desire for peace, great Vritra. Vritra. That end, I wonder if we might trouble you with another question. The Telophoroi are intent on recreating the final days. An apocalyptic event which we know to predate the sundering of the star. As the longest lived among us, know you aught of this terrible cataclysm. Ah. Uh. Nay. When war and strife drove my sire from his home, he crossed the great expanse with only our unhatched eggs as He doesn't in. know. Okay. He alighted upon a shattered source, its thirteen reflections long since scattered beyond the rift. Of events preceding his arrival, he knoweth not, save that which Hydralin hath deigned to disclose. Okay, 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 okay. I see. So again, tis the inscrutable Hydralin to whom you must look for answers. I mean, I have like a direct phone line to that lady right now. So we, we going to be Gucci. I got you, Yishtola. Let me get on the line. Call Heidelin real quick. Seek you to divine the will of this star. If so, I have a tale which may afford you some small comfort. He's going to tell us a story. Good. 
Tis a story from my youth, many, many years Once ago. upon a time. To my sire, I once posed the question. Of all the stars in the sky, why didst thou settle upon this one? Uh, that's Midgar Sormer, is his sire. To which Midgar Sormer ah. replied, mm -hmm. "'Twas the last bastion of hope. Oh. He believed, so long as Hydaelyn endured, so too might Dragonkind. See, that's why we're, we are boys. Me and Vritra are friggin' boys. Solemn and portentous were his words. What deeper meaning they held, I could not, dared not pursue. Tis a stone I've left unturned ever since. Okay. Yet uh, take you solace in the knowledge that whatsoever Hydralin does strive towards, tis an ideal which hath earned my sire's conviction. So he's trying to convince us, well, not convince us, but like share wisdom that all of the dragonkin from the original brood uh, trust completely in Hydalin, for sure. He's always like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Vritra. Oh, never mind. You've <laughs> She's given not us like warm that. reassurance in a world gripped by cold uncertainty. Cold uncertainty. Hey, you don't have a tower in your land anymore. That's good. While I'm sure we all have a great many questions, I think it's time we collect the talismans and be on our way. Our fight against the Talothroi is far from finished. Thangrid's like, stop talking. Time for action. Let's go. It's, it's typical uh, gunbreaker. Typical gunbreaker. Let's go. Leave, but please do inform us if we can provide any further assistance. Yeah, man, we'll come back. As long as you open up your Aetherite. Frick. Am I supposed to get back? Ertzy. I like it. Very nice cryo. Good form. Good form. Good show. Good show. Pretty a moment. <gasps> he wants to talk to me or Uriange. We can't really tell from this angle because <laughs> I'm wearing the same clothes. It's me. Okay. There is one whom my sire hath judged worthy of honor and respect. The one known to men as Aosia's champion. This hero of renown and rumor, tis thee. Yes, I know. I have not spoken to your father in some time. Been about a year of real time. In accordance with the covenant he forged with Hydralin, the stewardship of this star hath ever been his purpose. Silence in the face of thine actions is the greatest sign of his approval. Cool. Excellent. So it, him not so good. No news is good news. Got it. Excellent. Midgard's armor, a love of me. Are you doubting me? Are you doubting me? Don't make me call your father. I will turn this Amidst car around. This tangle not, thou shalt know no rest. Tis an endless confluence of forces. Oh, and he's empathizing. This is empathy. Peace. Got it. Dragon empathy. More Sounds a little different. Still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions as they Whoa, wait a minute. He's implying blame. Like, I'm dragging all, all of these extra characters through this story. I'm pretty sure they found me. And every time they need something, they call me. Not the other way around. I'm not dragging nobody through nothing. Flashback montage of people that we've lost. Sage. Mamphelia. Oh, 
Yo. Why you gotta bring up bad news? I will protect them come here. till my end. To the end of time! Even cowering behind my curtain, I know the suffering of the powerful. I have watched my siblings driven mad by loss. Mm -hmm. I've watched them driven mad by loss too, man. Like, your, your brother Nidhogg was a bastard. <laughs> Yeah, I will, man. Don't want anyone to talk to me? Can I go now? Look, they're like, will you hurry up? <laughs> ah, apologies. We hadn't meant to interrupt. Yes, you did. Get me out of here. It's just that we do have a history of suddenly collapsing, and when you didn't follow us out. Oh, they wanted to check on me. This is basically like, oh, will you look at the time? <laughs> Yeah, man. Go. Vritra. Yeah, just when open up that eighth right, and I'll be back, man. And if you don't open that up, though, can't promise anything. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Quick, before he starts another story. Quick, quick, quick. No, don't look back. Okay, bye. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Get me out of here. I think it's gonna be pissed. Heck yeah. So all that was basically to tell us thank you for destroying the tower. You're welcome. So we've done it guys. Uh, we are off to the next uh, bit of shenanigans. We gotta figure out how to stop the Talophori. Uh, we gotta go pick up our scales our enchanted scales to like battle with and to spread them around and give everybody protection but we're gonna do that in the next episode so until i see you then happy gaming